Hey, people. Um, I am here with another thoughtful Thursday. Uh, this week is a little more serious. Well, I guess a lot more serious than last week. Um, I don't know if you've ever had this problem. I think a lot of people have had this problem. But they just get in times, I just get in times where I feel like the world would just be better off without me and I should just say so long to the planet and give everyone more resources. Uh, basically, that's called suicidal ideation. <laughs> um, I think a lot of people have that problem. But here's some interesting advice that I got recently that really helped me. Um, the other thing that really helped me was coming back to my childhood home. You can see the tree I decorated behind me because I'm excellent at tree decorating. Um, but I'm back in my childhood home. Um, but I got some advice that was basically when you feel like the world would be better off without you, Step one is to do things for other people. Little things. Anything. Anything at all. You can move something out of a walkway that would have tripped somebody. If you find a nail on a road, you can pick that up. Uh, you can open a door for someone. Smile and wave at somebody. You can... Um, I don't know. You could do the dishes. You could do one dish. You could make a bed, open your windows, um, say something nice about someone, compliment somebody, all those things. And step two is the most important part. Um, it's almost like Hannah Hart's to done list. Hannah Hart was talking a while ago, a long while ago, she made a video about journaling or whatever. And part of that was writing a to done list. So instead of writing things you have to do and seeing it at the end of the day and feeling like you haven't gotten anything done, you write a to-done list and you say, this is what I've done today. I woke up, I brushed my teeth, I walked my dog, I did all these things, I got this done for work, I did this stuff. So when you're feeling really, really down and you feel like you can't do anything for anyone, that all you do is suck up resources, don't think about how big the thing you did was. Write down or just think about, you know, today I waved at an old lady. I smiled and waved and she smiled and waved back at me. And that was something I did for her. Maybe no one else smiled and waved at her that day. That's, you know, that's something significant to her that you did. Maybe you did the dishes and that freed up time for your significant other or your family to do something else with their time. Maybe it freed them up to have more relaxation at the end of the day than they would have gotten. And relaxation is important. It's important. It's more important than you think it is. So maybe you freed them up to let them take a nap or go to bed early. Sleep is very important. But like, you gave someone a compliment. A lot of people don't get compliments very often, and certainly not thoughtful compliments. If you give someone a thoughtful compliment, you put that on your list. Put that on the list of things that you did. And don't think about how they add up against all the woes of <laughs> how much you've done to destroy things in your life, because, girl... Boy, whoever you are, let me tell you, I can screw things up with the best of them. I am fabulous at screwing things up. But if you can just think of a little thing that you did that helped somebody, put it on a list and say, I've done this thing and it would not... <sighs> Don't... Okay. It would not have gotten done as easily had I not done it. So, someone else could have done the dishes, yes. Someone else could have waved at that old lady. Someone else could have done these things, but someone else didn't because you did them. 
that freed them up to do other things, that that was just a nice thing that you did. Don't think about whether somebody else could have done it. So like this, the Christmas tree behind me, this is why I'm filming it right here. So this Christmas tree behind me this year took eons to get up because no one in my house wanted to do it. And usually it's a family matter, but everyone this year is really busy. And it was just sad. And everyone was feeling really sad and not very Christmassy. So I did the Christmas tree this year. That was a thing that I did, and I did it slowly because I wasn't feeling super great. And every day I did something little. I put on the lights. <sighs> was not little. I put on the garland a couple days after that. Then I put the ornaments on half one day, half another. But it got done, and it got done because I did it. And it's small. Yeah, it's small, and I did it slowly and kind of poorly, but it got done because I did it. And that's my thought this Thursday. Think about what you did, not what you need to do, not what you should have done, not what you should have done differently. What you did that barely, maybe it barely mattered, but something, you did something. Trust me, you've done something. You've made eye contact with someone. That's something. So just, that's my thought. Think about what you have done. And have a good Thursday. <laughs>